Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, the NBA season has returned, so I wanna do a tier ranking video of the best teams in the NBA to the worst teams in the NBA. Looking here, we have Contender all the way down to Trash. So I'm gonna put all 30 teams on this list. If your team is on here, comment down below. For more content like this, make sure to like this video and let's hop right into this thing. We're gonna start off with the Washington Wizards. I think they're absolute trash. I'm not gonna lie to you, if you're a Wizards fan, I am sorry. But I think your season's about to be a... They got Alex Sar, and then they got a bunch of people. They got Kyle Kuzma, Jordan Poole, but they all seem like they about to have terrible plots. So I'm gonna put you guys at straight trash. Sorry. Golden State Warriors, I'm gonna say they're gonna fight for the play-in. They still have a main character player in Steph Curry. He's really dope, and he's always on fire. But unfortunately, they don't have a lot of talent around him. They're about to fight for the play-in, be a 10th seed, something like that. Minnesota Timberwolves, I think they're gonna make the playoffs. I think they will miss Carl Anthony Towns. Carl Anthony Towns' ability to shoot is very important. Um, Rudy Gobert, Julius Randle, Dante Tivincenzo, I don't think that's gonna put you over teams like Boston, put you over teams like the Thunder, put you over teams like Dallas. I honestly think that actually made you worse. So I'm gonna put you guys at the playoffs, but not after that. The Thunder, I do believe is a true contender. Sam Presti is amazing when it comes to trading at gathering assets he has to get all the credit in the world he helped build that first really good thunder team and now he has another really good thunder team on his hands so shout out to him they look great they were the one seed they're only going to get better and they're actually a real threat to making the nba finals the phoenix suns i think they're cool but i honestly think that devin booker kevin durant i mean that team i i believe i don't know if they got a point guard now Honestly, I didn't have not kept track too much on the Phoenix Suns and their acquisitions. I just think they're going to be like a 7th seed, 8th seed team. Kevin Durant's older now. I don't think they're going to win anything. We'll put you at 5 for the play-in. San Antonio Spurs, I'm going to say y'all fight for the play-in too, man. I'm going to say y'all are like the 12th, 11th seed, and maybe you have like a shot at the end there maybe to make the play-in, but then, you know, things happen. You know, they have Chris Paul, and Chris Paul is going to make the team understand that they have a 7'5 monster and that they should be feeding him the ball, force-feeding him the ball, and getting this man 25 shots a game so he can be the superstar he's meant to be. We're putting at five for the plan. 76ers, they're going to make the playoffs, maybe, but their plot is insane. Their plot is a straight. <laughs> this man, Joel Embiid, he's already injured. He can never play in back-to-backs. Paul George is always already injured. And then they also, I think they're doing like an investigation on Joel Embiid. I mean, they're they trying to cook the Sixers, I guess, but they're not going to do too much. I'm not going to lie to you. They'll make the playoffs, maybe win a first round game, but you know what happens after the first round with Joel Embiid. He gets injured, and then in the next round, he has to struggle, and then they lose. So we're going to put you at playoffs, but second round exit, conference finals won't happen. Houston Rockets, I'm going to say, ooh, don't say that. Don't say that. I'm a Rockets fan. Relax. I'm going to say five for playing. Um, this is the year that they need to make the play in. They've had this rebuild since 2021. And, you know, last year was a really good step, 41 wins. This year, I need them to be the 10th seed or something. I need Shane Goon or I need Jalen Green to have a great push forward and be an all-star or at least a guy who was snubbed for all-star. Like they say, dang, he really should have made the all-star, but they picked this guy because he's more popular. That has to happen. And if it doesn't happen, then we're going to be in straight purgatory. And that's rough. The Toronto Raptors, I'm going to say they are trash. No, I'm going to say purgatory. They have some talent on the team. It's just it's not interesting. They're, they're just not an interesting team. I'm going to put you at purgatory. We'll, we'll, leave it at, we'll leave it at that. Detroit Pistons, I'm going to say they straight trash. I mean, them, every single season, it's... Every season is like that. So I'm not going to say too much about it. They trash. Um, looking at the New Orleans Pelicans, I think the playoffs is in view. Probably like a six seed. Um, they're a decent team. I think they got swept in the first round last year, so that's really bad. I don't know if Zion didn't play, so they need a healthy Zion to make some noise, and I don't know if he's ever going to do that. Indiana Pacers, I'm going to say they make the playoffs. I kind of slandered the Pacers a good amount because they made the conference finals and got swept because they weren't supposed to be there, but I'm going to say they make the playoffs. I'm going to say they're like a five seed or a six seed, and I think at that, they'll probably just lose in the first round. Denver Nuggets, they got that man Jokic. They got that man Jokic. He's on fire! And he's always on fire, bro. Jokic is an outstanding player, one of the best big men of all time, three-time MVP. My goodness. Can he win four? We'll see. Brooklyn Nets, you know, I don't know who's on the Nets. I don't know who's on that team. I have no clue. I'm going to say y'all trash. I don't know who's on the team. I, I swear to you. Cam Thomas? I don't know who's on that team. Straight up. I'm going to just put you at trash. Um, Dallas Mavericks, I'm putting you at contender. Y'all made the finals for a reason. Luka and Kyrie play some good ball. Um, 
they, they couldn't match up with the Celtics. So I don't know if they if they make it back, they're gonna lose. But they made the finals, so they gotta be contender. The Orlando Magic, I'm putting you at playoffs. A really good team last year. They were in the East, so they were able to get away with you know being kind of mid. But they're still a really good team defensively, right? They just can't shoot the ball. Last time I checked, maybe something changed. But they got a guy in Paulo Bancaro who is really dope, and they don't get a lot. He don't get a lot of coverage though. He's number one pick a couple years ago, and he don't get a lot of coverage because I guess it's Orlando. But really good team. Probably losing the first round. Maybe make a second round push. Los Angeles Lakers. I'm saying they fight for the play-in because that's their plot. It's always been their plot under the LeBron. Only one year did the Lakers not have to fight for the play-in. Only one time. So it's, it's safe to say, unless J.J. Redick is really that guy as a head coach, if he's really that guy, then maybe things change. But if not, we'll put him right there. New York Knicks. F it. I'm going I'm to I'm have the smoke. I'm going to put the smoke in right here. Bang! We're going to put them at contender. Now, I know they got cooked yesterday. I know they got cooked against Boston, right? But Mikael Bridges, he's shooting like that. He, he changed his shot, and then he had to change it back. Just keep your shot like it was originally because that was much more smooth than what was happening. Uh, the Knicks, that's only game one. I have all my faith in the Knicks, bro. Y'all not going to – I don't think y'all going to win a championship, but I think y'all going to get 50 wins and make a little run. Maybe make it to the conference finals. Here, Here's the hoping. Sacramento Kings, I'm going to say they make the – they fight for the play-in. Um, last couple years – or last year they did that. The year before they were really lit. I don't think they're going to have that 3C type beat like they did in the past. I think they're going to just fight for the play-in. But they're a fun team, really fun team. Light the beam. Utah Jazz, I'm say purgatory. They got Laurie Markinen. I know they do. I hopefully, yeah, hopefully, because you know, sometimes these trade rumors, I don't, you know, the Jazz aren't a team I keep up with too much. But I know they got Laurie Markinen. So I know they're a pretty decent team. They're, they're, they're like, they're not gonna win anything. They may not make the playoffs, but they'll Laurie Markinen will have a couple good games. We'll have good games throughout the season and like win against a really good team. So I'm I'm gonna put them at purgatory. The Hornets, boy, I ain't gotta say too much about the Hornets. They straight trash. Uh the Miami Heat. They gonna fight for the plan. They always fight for the plan. And if they anything like they did back in 2022, the 2022-23 season, they make the final. I mean, Jimmy Butler in the postseason is series, but that's that's they hit life. Fight for the plan, and so is the Hawks. They gonna fight for the plan too. The Memphis Grizzlies. I'm gonna say they're gonna come back to relevance. I think the Grizzlies will actually make the playoffs. John Morant doesn't do any like gun flashing or anything like that. I think they have a great chance of making the playoffs again. So we're gonna put the Grizzlies back here. The Los Angeles Clippers, I'm going to say, man, I'm going to say y'all fight for the play-in, man. But I don't know. I mean, I, you're you're one step away from being trash. Kawhi Leonard injured again. I mean, y'all got a beautiful stadium. Shout out to your beautiful stadium. But every year for the Clippers is always a... Every year for the Clippers, bro, it's rough. I'm sorry, Clippers fans. I'm really sorry. Um, the Boston Celtics, we putting y'all at contender. Everybody's saying y'all are the easy going to repeat. No one in the league can stop you. No one can touch you. And maybe they're right. But if I, you know, if I'm one of these teams at the at the top, bro, we got beef. Like when I was, you know, Rockets, when I had to play the Warriors, I wasn't giving up. I didn't say that, bro. I ain't throw the towel in, bro. We going to box and you have to prove to me. And they did. The Cavaliers, I'm saying y'all are a playoff team. As long as you have Donovan Mitchell, y'all will be in the playoffs. Chicago Bulls is straight trash. Can't even say purgatory anymore. They're just buns. The Milwaukee Bucks will make the playoffs, but Damian Lillard, I have to see more. Him and Giannis, I got to see more of that to understand if they're actually going to be good. Um, and they have a shot to be good, but we got to see more. And the Trailblazers are straight trash. So this is my list. I think there are five contenders. The Thunder, the Nuggets, the Knicks, the Mavs, and the Celtics. The Bucks maybe can go up there. The Timberwolves maybe can go up there, but I got to see a little more. You know, they made some changes. To the Timberwolves did. I got to see some more. Um, but that is my list. And if you agree with my list, comment down below. If you do not agree with my list, comment down below. This is very fun to do. Hey, the NBA is back, baby. So, hey, for more content, NBA content like this, make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We hit 1,500 subscribers. So now I guess it's the road to 2,000. So until then, well, not until we get to 2,000 because, you know, that that's that that could be short that could be long depending on what you do with this video but hey until the next video i'm gonna catch you guys later and i'm out of here peace